Hello, it's Kale, guys. Nexus here. Welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, guys, we are getting sweaty, okay? We are going to be showcasing the new kind of... I say sweaty is the kind of comp, uh, comp you can go in with or kind of build. Because if you didn't know, over the weekend or last weekend, Trolls, of course, had a bunch of stats put out. And Trolls Report themselves were putting out tons of new stats about basically the sweats versus the lower KDs and everything like that. So anyone over like a 2.0 KD, it was showing what their top builds were. And surprisingly, this build with the Kefri Sting, this is what we're going to be going over. This exotic has been used by a lot of the sweats. Like, it's pretty high up on the list. Like, this is one of the sweatier builds people are using. And there's a good reason why. I know everyone's kind of hyping on about the Grafalcons, which obviously I don't like so many videos on already. Everyone is hyping over that. But this Kefri Sting build, it's pretty freaking nasty, especially with the way sidearms and everything are right now as well. It can go in. The build itself, we will have a dim link, of course, below if you want to look it up. It is the pure sweat build. That's why I'm looking sweaty now as well. But of course, weapon-wise, it's going to consist of the two sweaty weapons right now. So it's going to be a Lorenz Driver. I know people are going to go mad about that, but Lorenz Driver is just super sweaty. Put on the Catalyst Sweat. I don't know why I haven't got it on. But Lorenz Driver is it's disgusting right now. So obviously, that's going to be one of them. And the other is going to be a Sidearm Peace Bond with, of course, Range Finder, Iron Reach. <laughs> just pure range and everything. So plus-wise, though, we are going to be going in with the Marksman Dodge. Now, I know you can go with Gambler's Dodge if you want to get your Smoke Bomb or your Melee back as quick as you can. But... The 10 second, honestly, on this doesn't really help out when you want to dodge and go invisible as much as you can. So we're going to be using the Marksman instead. When it comes to aspects, we will be going with the Trapper's Ambush. Of course, we want this for quick fall and everything and the Smoke Bomb. For the Fragments, we're going to have Echo of Instability. So defeating targets with Grenade grants volatile rounds. Of course, 10 Strength is what I'm really after there. We're going to have Echo of Dilation. Of course, it's just for extra stats and everything. It's actually not bad when you're crouching. And then, of course, last but not least, we have Echo of Leeching. Next, we will have, of course, the armor and everything. I'm going to have a lot of these strength mods on, but we're going to have, of course, linear fusion targeting because, obviously, it's so stupid. When it comes to our Kefri Sting itself, it's a stasis mod. We have melee kickstart, so every time I use my smoke bomb, I will, of course, get some energy back, which, obviously, is just insane for this. If you want to know what the Kefri Sting does as well, punching someone with full melee energy will instantly cast smoke bomb. Gain truth sight while in your own smoke bomb effect. Your smoke bomb still increase damage. So, basically, the main thing that makes this super sweaty is going to be this true side. It's basically wall hacks. You get wall hacks up to, I think it's 80 meters or 70 something meters. High energy fire chest piece, nothing else on it. We're going to have, of course, powerful friends and everything on this as well. And last but not least, we're going to have, of course, our cloak with outreach. So we get melee energy, of course, whenever we use our class ability. So that's why I wanted the lower cooldown dodge. Yeah, quick play ain't going to be safe right now, boys. But we're going to go in and showcase what the sweatiest build right now is for. For especially for, as I said, there's people who are in like the uh, lower than 0.8. And stuff who never use this. There's a reason this is good. You should definitely start looking into this. So without further ado, let's go into some PvP with the Kefri Sting build. Alrighty, so we are going to be on, of course, the Radiant Cliffs with our Peace Bot and our Larry Driver and everything. So obviously, Larry Driver, as I said, it is kind of the meta right now. But what makes this really, really sweet is that if I go like this, oh, I get the entire nation. But if I crouch, of course, or if I go like this with it, I can do stuff like this, go in Viz, and you'll see that I will get wall hacks and everything. So, where this guy go? There he is. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, there's somebody behind me. Ah, bro! Boys, 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 leave me alone. Oh my god, I'm still alive somehow. But you gotta see that you can go invis and everything and get yourself back. And you can see I'm near enough to my smoke bomb already. Just from one dodge and of course a bunch of other things. So there is ways that you can use this to actually work. And there's the smoke or the grenade going in as well. In the, in the trial setting as well, it will be a little bit better. But you can see... Oh, there's the headshot. Watch out, get this guy. Bro, 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 bro. <laughs> but of course, it is just really, really sweet. Now, I didn't even get the wall hacks going. You need to be like that. There's the wall hacks. Oh, bro, bro. But you can see, I already have my dodge or my smoke bomb again. We dodge once, we get it back. So that's why I'm saying that it can be really, really good. And of course, you can do, of course, other things. Is there a dude here? Yo, bro. Bro, he, man's left. Man, he's left the herd. He's left the six-stack herd. He's left the herd, so he died. <laughs> uh, we're going to do this though real quick. And here's the death bond. This is what I mean by... Oh, my God, I missed. <gasps> no, you son of a god. Who took my kill, boys? Who took it? Who took it? But you can see... That guy's just it, like out there, and I can actually see him through walls and everything. So, the landfall is probably the best way to actually proc this. Of course, if you throw it at a wall, it doesn't always explode instantly. What the? Yo, what the? What? But you gotta see how sweaty this can be and everything. Like, you can hit absolute dumb, obviously, with an iron driver and stuff like that. But it's mainly just how far, how well this thing can go in. Like, you can see. Man doesn't have any idea. <laughs> and that's a freaking like, Wither Horde. That's a Wither Horde. That's a Wither Horde. And it's the Red Bin. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's so freaking sweaty. Oh my good god, boys. We are freaking slaying some people right now. Yeah, I just think that 
It's disgusting right now. It's just dirty. Oh, bro, give me the kill. This guy had heavy as well. Thank you very much, man. I, I, yeah, this this is disgusting. But obviously, people will be like, yeah, but the Grafakis can do something simpler. It can. But imagine in a 3v1 or in the, what's it called, in a trial scenario where it's kind of 3v3s and everything. It's a lot harder to kind of get away with just sneaking up and everything like that. So you can see you get a little bit of wax. If you peek corners with this as well, it's got to be nuts too. And bro, just... Bro, did you just take them all out? Avala, what the hell was that? I know people will hit me though saying that it is kind of situational where you can kind of go in with this, but it's mainly for things like this. Like if I pop behind this wall, I basically get the wall hacker for around this corner. So I can go like this and oh, I didn't miss my shot. You can do stuff like that, which is of course going to be really, really sweet. Now, if I didn't miss my Larry shots and everything, I would have been fine, but we got the double kill. But that's what I mean. It's kind of just for prepping around corners, whatever, like peeking up around the corner. And getting basically free wall hacks. Like wall hacks, <laughs> people like, people pay I'm good money. Enough. To cheat a wall hack. Imagine getting a forgiven it for free by a freaking Kefri Sting. That's what I'm locking about, boys. Oh my god, why do I always die when I use my tether? It's pretty, really sweet. Of course, we'll do another one because that was legit quicker than me in bed. But I will say that overall, the sweat bill, boys, the Kefri Sting, it's disgusting right now. 18 opponents feed those 6.0 quickest game ever. But we'll go again. Alrighty, so we are going to be going into elimination, guys. This is legit the closest. It is basically for controls, but of course, the Osiris part of it. But we're going to be going in, of course, on some freaking uh, distance shore and everything. This is going to be it and everything. You can see. <laughs> There's the invis and everything, and that's the quick peeks you can't do with it. You can go invis then again, and is the guy here? What the? Okay, he's behind us, boys. He's behind us. And you're dead. <laughs> but that is what I mean by what you can do with these. You can see I've nearly got my freaking thing back. If I chucked out my nade as well, you could probably get your energy back as well. So as I said, you basically have this invis wall hack going near enough consistency. Now, you do have to stand in it, so that's where the deadfall is probably a little bit better to get going. But in a trial scenario or in a 3v3 scenario... This is a sweaty, sweaty build. Just the instant freaking wall, uh, wall hack, so you can do things like this. And, <gasps> boys, it's a one shot. No, you son of a gun. Oh, this guy's just not even looking at me. We get him there, though. But this is what I mean by what you can do with it and everything. It is just, it's nasty. We're going to dodge as well, just for a little bit more energy and stuff. But it's just crazy because, like, you can see how effective it can be and everything. So, this guy's going to be there again. We'll make this other guy invis. And, oh, my God. He went dead. What? Oh, my God. They all left. <laughs> Alrighty, so we are going to be doing another elimination game because that last one, obviously, they all left and everything. But we're going to be going in, of course, on... Oh, bro, are you actually all going to land this way? See that? Oh, bro. Bro. <laughs> the locks. We got it, boys. We got it. The freaking guy is going to kill me. Oh, my God, leave me alone. And we actually got the nade kill. But that's what I'm saying, that you can go in with this, of course. The insta peek and peek, of course, true wall or whatever. So you can just get insta wall hacks, as I said. People pay good freaking money for wall hacks, and I just get them for free. And we got another, we got another annihilation. I get them for freaking free just for playing the game. We're going to dodge just get a little bit more energy back. But look at that. One round, you get your energy back right away. I'm telling you right now. It's disgusting. This whole build is just dirty. As I said, it works better 3v3, of course, because you don't have to worry about people coming behind you. And obviously, people are going to be running at you and stuff like that as well. But... If you do something like this and instantly pop it, it, it basically goes like the whole map, especially on this sort of map. Now we'll get this guy. I think we still feel the guy in. I don't think so. Oh, no, you son of a gun. Freaking shoulder charge. Oh, there's a sweet business going on. Bro, what? Are you... Bro, what is going on? My man just spammed the whole freaking sweet business at him. Oh, bro. I got him. What? Yep, that's Larry Driver, boys. How do I kill that guy? I couldn't even see his ass. Oh, I'm trying to get this guy, though. And he just tried to smoke bomb me. Yo, bro. Bruh. Bruh. I'm so confused, but yeah. <laughs> it's this, this is so stupid, Lorenz. Oh, my God. It is just that Lorenz, of course, is just super synergistic with it right now and everything. So if I do something like this as well. Oh, bro. Oh, my God. You actually gonna do that? Did he clear my smoke with that? What the? Yo. Yo, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> God, my man had eyes for my booty. He just really wanted to kill me. And oh, I didn't know he's dead, but you know what? We'll get the kill. <laughs> of course, the main like cooldown, everything you're kind of looking at. Oh, but of course, the main cooldown you're obviously gonna have is waiting for your melee to come back and everything. But as I said, there's so many ways to kind of counter that, especially if you've got other people using their stuff. Or as I said, if you want, you can chuck this on with, even with like Traveler's Chosen. If you want to use like something else, obviously you can't use the Larry Driver then, which is like the main thing I'm kind of looking at now. Are you rezzing or something, bro? Where the hell is this guy? What the? 
One minute. Oh, dear, okay. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. But you can see, you can get around quarters, everything with the Lorenz and stuff with it, which is why I want to use that. But there's definitely other ways of building into this. This isn't the be all end all kind of build per se, but it's the main concept of using the Caffrey Sting and everything. It's kind of the one shot chance when you're peeking corners and stuff with Lorenz. But the chance is just so glorious. It's like, it's just so good because you basically get the free wall hack. So, if, of course, they're probably going to come down the middle again. So I basically get a free walk. Now, obviously, on certain maps, you kind of know the angles are going to peak instantly. These guys are playing just weird as hell. What the? That doesn't hit. That doesn't hit. What? But, of course, when you know kind of angles in the game and everything like that, especially in trials, people are going to insta peak pretty much at the start of every single round. So you kind of know which angle they're coming from. To know for a fact that they're going to be peaking or not, it's just like, it's game changing. As I said, people play good money for hacks sometimes, boys, and I get it for free. Now, bro, you're going for res, aren't you? I res up there, did I? <laughs> yeah, bro, I just kind of baited you, but you know what? We get the kill. Oh! Oh! I freaking didn't know where the other guy was! All right, guys, we have to end this quick. We are not letting these guys catch up, okay? That's not what's going to happen here. We'll get this guy, though. Good shout, Crow Bambit, or whatever your name is. Oh, someone actually turned me in with and everything. Uh, you know, screw it. We're going to do this to him. Uh, my man, you did. Thank you later. And yeah, that's what I mean. We could uh, get all the Larry stuff as well. And you can see, where's the last dude at, boys? Where he's at? Oh, he's over here. I'm going to go invis and I'm going to just kill this guy. I could actually probably go invis now and see exactly where he's at. And I can barely see. Uh, there he is. <laughs> That's how good this invis is, by the way. It goes super far. Like, I mean, this guy's just going to be chilling down here. Like an absolute villain. Uh, bro, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. He's, he's trying to try to charge me. Oh, what a pro! What a pro! <laughs> Oh, well, that is the game set of match. You can see how far the invis goes. Man. It's not that long, as I said. It's like three or four seconds you get of the wall hacks. Of course, the invis is all stronger, but it's enough when it comes to the high tier gameplay. As I said, one or two seconds no, of pure intel, solo intel as well. It is insane. 16 kills altogether, though, four deaths. And yeah, that's just the Larry Driver, boys. The new sweatiest build to be going in with the Larry Driver and the freaking uh, Kefri Sting. Well, that is it for me. And of course, the Kefri's thing. You can see the whole build all together. All the mods included as well. As I said, the melee Kickstarter is great. You have obviously the uh, Kickstarter, or kind of Kickstarter, the outreach that is at the bottom as well. You got so many things that can kind of build into it. 100 strength as well. There's so much stuff you can definitely use for this. As I said, you don't have to use Lorenz. Obviously, I was using it because it's pure sweat and everything. But even if you use the sniper with this, you get the wall hack for a sniper. It's really insane. You want to use Traveler's Chosen on a sniper, like the Macabre. That would be an insanely good combo as well. The Lorenz is just more of a, obviously, it's just more applicable right now. Even Arbalist as well. But this build altogether, it's insane. You can, I kind of understand now why, though, that the, um, that at the higher levels, it's used a lot more than obviously at the lower level. I think kind of when you get down to the lower levels, people aren't peaking as much. And there is a really tight window on when this is mainly effective. Obviously, the wall hacks doesn't last forever. So you got to be popping and peaking actively, like straight away. Whereas the higher level, you can do that and you kind of have intel, but and game sense. But lower levels, maybe not so much. But I will say overall, this is the new sweat build, boys. You, if you're a hunter, you got to be trying this one out. I know the Grafalcons is easier. It's definitely more applicable. Like, it's legit. Herder, go invis, herder, get damaged. That's all it is. This one takes a little bit more, I think, I wouldn't say skill, but takes a lot more game sense to use. So I will definitely say that this isn't going to be easy to get used to. But once you get used to it, you can see you basically get a free peek. I mean, the build all together. It's pretty, really dope. As I said, the pure sweat build, boys. Lorenz, Invis, True Psych, like wall hacks, basically. Man, is a pretty nutty. As I said, people pay good money for wall hacks. And I'm Bungie just said, ah, oh, we'll give it to Hunters for free. Why not? Just let them have it, boys. They used to be able to just like, crouch to get it, which was insane. But well, let's just get them throw a smoke bomb and get it as well. I mean, tch, Hunters right now. Night Soccer is always pretty, really, really good. So I will say definitely, if you're going to be playing Hunter or whatever in trials, 100% I would use this. Give it a shot. This Capri thing, as I said, dim link down below. Give it a shot because it is sweaty as all balls, but it is good. But regardless, if you like the video, show us a like. And if you want to see more content, subscribe and fantastic day. And hopefully I'll see the next collective in the next one.